Taylor. Welcome to day 19 of our 30 day fitness challenge all at home. No equipment required. I'm loving this challenge. I hope you guys are too. Um, today's day 19. We're going to be doing four exercises, 15 reps of each. So we're going to get to work right away. Um, we're going to be doing jumping squats. And I always tell you guys we have, um, I have the pictures right there for you as well with diagrams, but I do the video so that you can see the form. I can show you my applications as well. And um, if you have any questions, comment below how you're liking the challenge, any ideas you have for another challenge you'd like me to do, how your meal plan is going, anything, just comment right there for me, okay? And um, so we're gonna start with the first exercise is a jumping squat. Big thing about squats is the form. I always say with any exercise, focus on form before speed. So with a squat, feet shoulder width apart, you wanna put the weight through your heels and like you're gonna sit in a chair. I always do a side view. A lot of people ask the side view for squats. So feet shoulder width apart, just like you're sitting in a chair, put the weight through your heels. I usually put my toes off the ground a little bit so I know I'm just putting the weight through my heels. When you come up, squeeze that, those glutes. Squeeze them when you come up. So squat down, squeeze up, right? You can modify it by not squatting as low in the squat, but this is a squ jumping squat. So we're gonna do squat, jump, squat, jump, squat, jump. Way to modify. Like I said, you wouldn't go as down as low with a squat, come up in a calf raise. You wouldn't squat as low, come up in a calf raise. All right. We're going to do 15 reps. Yes, you guys, this is a workout for me too. All right. Whew, because I'm showing you guys these examples and I got to do the exercises too. So we're going to do 15 reps. If you guys are ready, 15 jumping squats, or like I said, you can squat not as low and do a calf raise. 15, here we go. High five, high five, exercise one is done. All right, the next one we're gonna be going to the ground. And as you can see, I think the rest of these are on the ground. Here's my mat, I always talk about this mat. Half inch foam, love this mat. If you guys don't have a mat, check this out. I always put the link in my workouts for my mat. Yes, I could sleep on this thing too. I'm gonna to angle this just so I know you guys can see me. All right, we're gonna do single leg glute bridge. So what you're gonna do, lie on the ground, you're gonna put your heels toward your butt, towards your buttocks, but then you're gonna straighten one leg. So I'm gonna straighten my left leg first, right leg is bent, heel toward my buttocks. What we're gonna do is go up, put the weight through that heel that's on the ground, and then back down. Weight through the heel, keep this leg straight, back down. So we're gonna do 15 reps on both sides, all right? You guys are ready? Here we go. Eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my goodness. Oy, that's tough. Okay, you guys can rest. You can pause this video if you need to. I'm just gonna go to the next side, get these over with. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the attitude I have about these. Just get them over with. So put that heel by your buttocks, right? Put the weight through your heel when you go up, straighten that right leg. I'm doing my right leg this time. Here we go. One. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alrighty, whoo! That is done. High five, high five. Our next one is marching glute bridge. So we're gonna go back on our back, right? So with a uh, marching glute bridge, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do this. All right. Um, one way you can do this: so you have your heels, both of them near your buttocks, and you're gonna go up and down in the glute bridge. And you're gonna march, alternating legs like this, back down, up, down, glute bridge marching. A more advanced version that I usually do is I stay up in the glute bridge, kind of like a glute bridge hold. So I'm kind of changing the exercise. I'm gonna show you more advanced, where you stay up in a glute bridge hold and you march like this, all right? Weight through your heels. When you press up, the weight goes through the heel, heel and your glutes. All right, so we're gonna do 15 reps on both sides. 
You guys ready to keep those heels, like I said, close to your buttocks. We're gonna mar do our march. Here we go. Almost there. 11. Go at your own pace. 12. Keep that core tucked in. 13. Almost there. 14. Last one. 15. Woo oh, that was a tough one. Oh, always do your high five, high five. You guys are doing awesome. Last exercise plank with the row. All right. Whew, so we're going to go on the other side show you guys different ways to do this exercise, a couple different ways. All right, so it's a plank. So we're gonna put our hands under our shoulders. You're gonna put your feet separate because, or um, about shoulder, shoulder width apart because you wanna have that wide base of support. What you're gonna do is you're gonna roll. So you're gonna bring one hand close to your armpit, keep the hand close to your body, back down. The opposite one, close to your body, toward your armpit, back down. All right, another way to do this, a modifier, like I always say, in a plank, you can always modify by putting your knees on the ground. Same idea. Hands under your shoulders, core tucked in, back flat, just like this, right? So that's another way you can do it. You can start up on your toes if you want and then go to your knees. That's fine. Like I said, you can modify it part of the time, the whole time, whatever works for you. We're going to do 15 reps on both sides, all right? Last exercise in this first round. You guys, you ready? Here we go. your own pace. I'm on five. Keep that core tucked in. Back flat. Hands under your shoulders. Seven. Eight. Those feet wide so that your whole body isn't moving. Ten. Eleven. Almost there. Woo. 15. All right, you guys. That is it. That is our four exercises for today. You did it. What you can do is rewind this video, play it two or three more times. As I always say, the goal is to do two or three sets of these a day. Um, and you had the, the pictures there to show you as well. I like to do a video to show you the form. If you have any questions, comments, I always say put them in the comments section, um, how your meal plan is going, all that stuff. That's day 19. You guys, we're almost done. You guys are doing amazing. I'm so proud of you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.